Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I'm coming to you from Utah, USA. Today I want to talk to you about your faith, the full armor of God. I know there's some stuff going on in the world now, and people are getting really worried and scared. Christ said, these things must come to be, but see ye, be not terrified. Put on your full armor of God. Put on the helmet of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of your faith, the shoes that walk in peace, and the sword of the Spirit. Just want to remind you guys that, you know, we're, we're in a war. We're in a battle. Um, good versus evil. We've been practicing for this game for a long time. And we may be in the finals of this war. We don't know that for certain. Things are looking that way. But we do not know the hour or the day that Christ will return. We don't know the hour of the day when Satan is going to arise. But according to everything we're seeing in the Bible, and those who have been studying, know that it's looking like it's pretty close. So, with that said, I want to just give you a little bit of scripture to help, help you be strong. Isaiah forty thirty one, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. If you're feeling faint, then you need to tighten up your armor of God and uh, work on putting it on every day. And now we're going to look at Ephesians 6, 12 through 20. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand, stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, that's your waist, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the majesty or the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds. I'm chained to God. I'm chained to Jesus Christ. That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And that doesn't mean speak boldly about the things in this world. Like how mad you are or upset you are or how 
frustrated you are with things the way they are now, but it means to be to be in a spiritual to to do battle in the spiritual sense and um speak boldly the word of god and and you know denounce the devil and tell him you just won't have anything to do with him send him away pray to god with all your heart and mind and soul and body just as the first commandment says, you should have no other God before thee. And to love thy God with all thy heart, thy mind, thy soul, and thy body. Um, do that and, and just, you know, talk to him. Tell him how you're feeling. Ask him what your heart desire is. And he will hear in heaven. And he will answer. So until one day when I see all my brothers and sisters face to face in heaven, as always, I love you.